Hello everybody, welcome to the PYQ series of Railway Engineering. The question is taken from the geometric design. Determine the equilibrium speed and can to be provided on the broad gauge curve of 3 degree if the speed of several trains are running on the line as follows. So this is the different trains are speed. So we have to first of all calculate the weighted average of the train. Speed of the train. So 15 trains are running with 50 kmph. 12 trains are running with 60 kmph. 8 trains are running with 70 kmph and 3 trains are running with 80 kmph. Total number of trains are 15 plus 12 plus 8 plus 3. So we need to calculate the average speed. So what is it is coming? Uh, 50 into 50, then 12 into 60, then 8 into 70, then 3 into 80, 3 into 80, then divided by total number of train 15 plus 12 plus 8 plus 3. So this is coming out to be 59.74 kmph. So this is the equilibrium average or I can say this is the equilibrium speed average speed or actual speed of the train. Now what is the equilibrium can't you need to provide equilibrium can't can be calculated as gv equilibrium square divided by 127 r so g value is 1.750 that is the gauge distance dynamic gauge need to be taken as per the new guidelines then uh, v equilibrium is 59.74 square then divided by 127 and radius should be, should be taken 1750 divided by 3 3 is the degree of curve so if you calculate this 1.750 multiplied by uh, 59.74 multiplied by 59.74 uh, divided by 127 multiplied by 1750 then multiplied by 3 so it coming out to be 8.43 centimeter is the equilibrium super elevation is coming now in the in, in the same this is the equilibrium speed and that is the so equilibrium super elevation it is less than what 16.5 centimeters so definitely it is safe now in the given question just imagine if they will ask you what is the maximum permissible speed on the given track what is the instead of this if they ask you what is the maximum permissible speed then how to calculate vmax as per the new guidelines that is 0.27 root over ca into cd multiplied by radius ca means kent actual kent or i can say equilibrium kent cd means kent deficiency so this is what 0.27 CA and CD in this formula should be taken in uh, mm. So CA has to be taken 84.3 mm. Then CD can deficiency is uh, for 3 degree curve can be taken as 75 mm because 3 degree curve will not allow more than 100 kmph speed. So definitely we will not go for 10 mm of the deficiency. We have to go for the 75 mm of the deficiency. If nothing mentioned, then this is 7750 divided by 3. So you can calculate the Vmax also. That is 84.3 plus 75 multiplied by 1750 divided by 3 over root multiplied by 0.27 so this comes out to be 82.30 kmph speed this comes out to be 82.30 kmph speed one more thing in this question you can check or they may ask you they may ask you that what is the what is the uh, slow moving train what is the situation of the slow moving train whether it is safe or not so just check what is the requirement of super elevation for the slow moving train so the requirement of super elevation for the slow moving train is 1.75050 square divided by 127.1750 divided by 3 so check what is the uh, requirement requirement is 1.750 multiplied by 50 into 50 divided by 127 into 1750 multiplied by 3 so this comes out to be 5.90 centimeter so you have uh, means this train is requiring 5.90 centimeter of the super elevation how much you have provided you have provided 8.43 centimeter it means this train is facing axis of the can how much is the axis it is facing 8.43 minus minus uh, 8.43 minus 5.90 so it is facing the axis of 2.53 centimeter which is completely safe because you can have the axis of 7.5 centimeter as per the clauses so uh, in that case you can also tell this uh, also calculate this uh, uh, cat axis from here okay so these things they can ask you they can also ask you what is the smallest uh, slowest speed possible so in that case slowest speed possible what is the slowest speed possible? That case, you what you can do? E equilibrium minus E slowest is equal to C E. E equilibrium minus uh, E slowest is equal to C E. In that case, E equilibrium, you can take 8.43. E slowest, in this E slowest, what you can take? You can make this, uh, sorry, you can make this 
here it was here it was 50 square na ha so you can make this v slow square that is unknown v slow square then ce maximum value of ce you can take 7.5 cm with that value you can calculate the slowest possible speed on this track maximum we have already calculated you can also calculate slowest possible speed on this track okay like how uh, let us calculate that maybe uh, maybe it will help you so this e equilibrium was 8.43 cm minus uh, 8.43 centimeter minus 1.750 that is the e slow slowest moving speed slowest moving speed square 127 r that is the ce value that is 7.5 centimeter both are centimeter we can convert into meter so that everything will remain in the same same value so what is this 8.43 minus 7.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 127 1750 divided by 3 then divided by 1.750 over root so if you tell me then if you can solve this the, the v v slow this is the v slow this is what v slow v slow is coming as 19.84 kmph it means the slowest possible speed on that track is 19.84 kmph 19.84 kmph and uh, the maximum speed was coming as uh, maximum speed was coming as 82 something and uh, our our question which was regarding equilibrium that is uh, 8.43 centimeter was the equilibrium speed and equilibrium speed was uh, i think 59.74 kmph so everything we have covered in this question so in the series of pyq uh, the one beautiful question of railway we have taken one of the question is from uh, one of the question is from uh, uh, airport a runway is being constructed in a new airport as per icao recommendation the elevation of the airport is uh, 535 meter and uh, what I can say uh, that is uh, 22.65 meter. Airport reference temperature is also given 22.65 centigrade respectively. Consider the effective gradient of 1% the length of runway required for design aircraft. Uh, aircraft uh, condition uh, the length of runway design aircraft under the standard condition is 2000 meter that is the basic runway length with the framework applying sequential correction as per the icao guidelines what is the length of runway so first of all as per icao guidelines gradient correction should not be applied only we will apply the uh, correction of uh, elevation and correction of uh, temperature so elevation is given 535 meter now we can solve this elevation is given brl first of all brl is given as uh, 2000 meter then elevation given 535 meter then art airport reference temperature is given 22.65 degree celsius 22.65 degree celsius i hope so the same the similar thing we have written 22.65 okay so these data are given so first of all elevation correction first of all elevation correction what is the elevation correction first of all elevation correction so what is the elevation correction elevation correction is 7% brl should be increased 7% basic runway should be increased per 300 meter of the elevation so if the elevation is 300 meter 7% increment must be there if elevation is 1 meter so 7% divided by 300 and if elevation is x meter so 7% divided by 300 into x meter so 0 0.07 0 0.07 divided by 300 into 535 this much percentage of the correction should be applied in brl in brl so this is the correction due to elevation 0 0.07 into 535 into 2000 divided by 300 so this comes out to be 249.67 approximately 250 meter is this correction so what i can say what i can say l corrected after after application of this is 2250 meter now we need to apply the airport reference temperature correction but before airport reference temperature correction we should know standard atmospheric temperature that is 15 minus 0.0065 into h at your elevation what is the standard temperature so that is 15 minus 0.065 into h means 535 so this comes out to be 11.52 degrees celsius but what is the reference temperature you are having 22.65 it means this difference of temperature is will going to cause will going to cause the temperature difference or i can say it will going to cause a temperature correction so delta t is coming as 22.65 minus 11.52 so how much it is 22.65 minus 11.52 so this coming out to be 11.13 degrees celsius now what is the temperature correction temperature correction is if your art if your reference temperature is one percent greater than sat then one percent change in the length you need to allow 1% increment in the length you need to allow. So 11.13, it means we need to increase the length by 11.3%. So uh, increase this uh, uh, above length. So L corrected will be 
2250 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 11.13 परसेंट सो ईसीओ 20% 20% for 1% 0.20 into 1 multiplied by 2500 it means 500 meter it can be increased just because of the gradient because 20% for 1% so it can be increased by 20% that is 500 meter more to be increased one more thing we should learn if in the question it is written that it is a landing runway or using only for landing then only elevation correction is required nothing more is required even whether it is for ICO or not from ICO anything you do it is required only 2250 if it is landing okay so that is what is required and if they will ask you what is the distance for normal landing so for normal landing 60% of the landing distance 60% of 2250 is required for normal landing distance okay so there's three conditions they can ask in the same question so 2500 c is the correct answer may be some of them okay the 3000 is not given but if it 3000 is given then it could be more confusing because 1% is the effective gradient is also given in the question so some of you may be get confused because of that okay so this is what the airport previous year question okay so thank you so much take care and all the very very best do your best in the uh, gate upcoming exam esc exam or gate exam thank you